David here with Fig Boot on pens. You know, I would love to only use fountain pens, uh, but when you're out and about, that's not always possible. Uh, you know, there's times when it's just more practical to use a ballpoint or a rollerball pen. Uh, you know, someone gives you a birthday card at work to sign, and then you're having to tell them to be careful and not let the ink smudge on the card. And uh, you know how office birthday cards are always printed on the highest quality paper. Uh, and there's uh, you know other situations as well. I had to fill out a carbon customs form at the post office the other day, and all I had was a fountain pen on me, and that did not work too well at all. So lately I've been looking for a cool ballpoint, something functional but with uh, enough unique about it that I don't feel like I'm using some throwaway hotel pen. Well, fate would have it that my friend Will Hodges reached out to me. Uh, Will is the man behind Tactile Turn. Uh, I reviewed the gist a while back. Uh, if you haven't seen that fountain pen, you should go check it out. It's, uh, it's one that I care for a great deal. Uh, Will's shop is located just north of Dallas, Texas. Uh, he spends a great deal of time and effort into uh, building out his machine shop in order to produce some of the highest quality write writing instruments uh, that he can. Uh, he's launched a number of pens, both fountain and ballpoint, via Kickstarter, uh, and it's really worked out well for him. Uh, he has a new Kickstarter active right now, as of the taping of this review, for two ballpoint pens called the Mover and the Shaker. And he was nice enough to send one of each for me to check out. So I'm going to go over the parts and the features of the Mover and the Shaker, talk about what I care for and uh, what I don't care for, uh, I'll show some measurements, uh, and then uh, stay tuned because I'll be giving one of these pens away. Uh, and I'll let you know how you can enter the drawing. So, okay, let's take a look at some pens. Uh, to start off with, here we have the mover, and this is the anodized aluminum finish. And then here is the stainless steel version of the shaker. Uh, the two models are very similar. Uh, on the outside, the main difference is the length. The mover is about three millimeters longer, as you can tell here. Uh, or I'm sorry, uh, 13 millimeters longer, or about half an inch. Uh, I think that the red looks really nice here on camera, so we'll kind of focus here on the mover. Um, both pens actually come in five different materials. They come in stainless steel, brass, copper, titanium, and then aluminum. Uh, the anodized aluminum models are available in nine different colors. Uh, there's a number of those colors that I think look pretty sharp. Uh, you know, we'll start here, start here at the knock, or in layman's term, the clicky part. Uh, this mechanism is the main difference between these versions of the mover and the shaker and the original models that came out a while ago. Um, Will redesigned the interior mechanism in order to give the refill a bit more travel. Uh, an issue that he experienced with the original versions was that the refill wouldn't retract deep enough into the barrel. Uh, it wasn't like it was sticking out the end or anything, but it was just a bit too close to the opening. So that if you put it in a pocket or something like that, there was a slight risk of loose fabric coming in contact with the ink, which is not a good thing. So on these new versions, the refill actually retracts deeper into the barrel. Uh, the knock activates just fine. You know, and it doesn't only click, but you get some noise from the mechanism of the entire click. You know, on some pens, I can see how you only want that to uh, be as quiet as possible. But on this pen, I don't mind. You know, it's mechanical, so I don't mind a bit more of a mechanical sound. Uh, then we have the clip, which is stainless steel and has enough play to function just fine here on a shirt pocket. Uh, and that on the underside of the clip, it's actually stamped with the company name, Tactile Turn, and the Kickstarter logo. Now, this is the same clip that Will uses on the uh, Tactile Turn fountain pens, uh, and but the under the clip markings are something that he's just beginning. So if you've previously purchased one of his pens, then it won't have the stamp. Uh, on other models outside of this campaign, the clip uh, is going to have the company name and the year it was manufactured. Now, you know, I kind of like having a little surprise under the clip. Uh, I reviewed another pen recently that had the manufacturer year on the cat band, and I really wasn't a fan of that. Uh, I thought it kind of looked a little bit tacky, um, but I feel that having it under the clip here works. Uh, you know, that it's kind of a surprise underneath there, and I like that. Um, one of the main distinctive features of these pens are the exterior grooves that run the entire length of the barrel. 
Um, just like on a record, it is a single groove from beginning to end. Uh, it provides an excellent grip here on the section. Uh, and I, you know, I really like the feeling of it against my uh, palm as well as I'm when I'm writing as well. You know, and I do find myself kind of rubbing a finger or thumb across the barrel when it's in my hand. Uh, it's a cool and unique feeling. Uh, and also the grooves do a very good job of hiding the transition from the barrel to the section. Uh, you know, it's just barely visible here. Now, the mover feels very comfortable in the hand, uh, and then the shaker, while the shaker is a little bit shorter, um, it's still plenty long enough in the hand. Um, in regard to refills, the mover comes with a 0.038 millimeter Pilot G2 black refill, um, but it will accept around 30 different kinds of refills. A full list can be found on the Kickstarter starter campaign uh, or on the Tactile Turn website. Uh, the shaker actually comes with a Schmidt Easy Flow 9000 medium point black ink and will fit all other uh, kind of Parker style refills. Uh, and there's a ton of those out on the market. Uh, just in regard to the refills that come with the pens, um, I, I really like the medium point on the shaker. Um, but for me, the, the, point, or the 0.038 uh, point on the mover's refill is a little thin for my tastes, but it's easy enough to get another refill. Um, there's things about both of these models that I really like. Um, I really like the size of the mover, and the uh, anodized aluminum really looks sharp. Um, but I kind of like the weight of the stainless steel model. Uh, personally, if I was to pick one of these up, I think I would look at the stainless steel mover to kind of get the best of both worlds. Uh, the Kickstarter campaign will be open until November 28th. Uh, as of this recording, there's over 1,200 backers and Will's more than doubled his $50,000 goal. Uh, so this has been another successful campaign for Tactile Turn. Uh, the cost of an aluminum mover or shaker is a $49 pledge. Uh, the stainless steel model as well as the brass is $59. And then the copper is $69 and the titanium is $79. Uh, and I feel that for what you receive, these prices are, uh, are reasonable. Uh, they're well-machined, high-quality pens. Um, I'm going to be giving this mover away, courtesy of Will at Tactile Turn. Um, in order to uh, enter, all you need to do is be a subscriber to my channel, uh, and then just leave a comment below in YouTube. Uh, today is Saturday, November 18th, and you have until the end of day on Tuesday, November 21st to enter. Uh, in regard to a comment topic, uh, I'm going to be doing another QA here soon, so uh, why don't you leave me a, uh, a question for Q&A. Uh, the comment topic is not required, just a suggestion. Thanks go out again to Will at Tactile Turn for providing both of these pins for review and for giveaway. Uh, you can check out a link in the notes below to the Kickstarter campaign. Uh, just a reminder, it ends in a little bit over a week from when I'm posting this. So if you're interested in this pen, either one, it's a really good opportunity to pick one up. Um, I'll also put a link in the notes to the Tactile Turn site so you can, ch you can check out the rest of his fountain pen and ballpoint offerings. Um, it it's really worth a look. You know, he, he also provided me with one of his uh, slider model ball points made of Damascus steel. And at first I was, you know, I, uh, I, I wasn't just going to show this at the end of the review and talk about it for a minute or so. Uh, but the more time I spend with this pen, the more I feel a, a brief overview would do this pen uh, a bit of an injustice. So uh, there's a lot to go over in regard to this pen. So uh, I think that I'm going to be doing a full review of this one at a later date coming up here in the relatively near future. Um, since both of these are ballpoints, I, I really don't feel the need to do a writing sample, uh, but all of the weights and the measurements for all of the different varieties of these pens can be found on the Kickstarter page. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look at something that wasn't a fountain pen, uh, but something closely related to one. Uh, and as I mentioned in my last video, while my channel will still be fountain pen dominant, uh, I was going to try to work in a few other types of stationary items as well, whether that is, uh, whether it's actual stationary or whether it's ink or maybe a ballpoint every once in a while, as long as it's something interesting and something that I feel is cool. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at figboot11. You know, I typically post a picture of the pen I take to work each day. So if you want to get a feeling for my collection as a whole, you can check them out as I cycle through everything. So until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.